the next thing that you need to communicate is that you care. Well, that sounds easy. I care. Now, you need to communicate that you care. People will read more into that than you can imagine. I have a personal story. I was over in Aldafa, United Arab Emirates, back in 2004. And I was the first target there. And it's a pretty safe place to be in the desert, and no incoming, that type of stuff. So we get a lot of visitors. A lot of US, USO sends people over. Ben Affleck came to this. Anybody know Ben Affleck? Well, he came. And I was put in charge for a POC for our group, for Ben Affleck. And it was pretty neat. So one of the things he did, he went to the airplanes and met people, and he had this little flyer with a picture on it, and he only signed it. And, and so it was great. It really shot up morale. This was a day after Christmas. As nice as I got for his, is in the middle of the desert, people would rather be home at Christmas. So this young lady named Melissa, after uh, Mr. Affleck had come to the airplane we were in, come up in and looked around, shook hands, signed autographs, went to another phone. She'd come up and was all just sad. I said, Jeremy, Pedro, are you okay? She's, and I almost started crying. She, her hands were shaking. She had that paper signed by Ben Affleck. She said, he signed it, but he didn't say it to Melissa. I said, what? She said, yeah. I was so nervous that I forgot. And now he just signed it to Ben Affleck. And, 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 you know, the other young airman had him to sign it to Lisa, to Karen. And he put smiley faces. But poor Melissa. I said, well, he's over the next plane. Sign and go over there. I tried, but the captain over there that's in charge wouldn't let me in, told me to come back later tonight, and he could sign all the rest, but it'd be like a three-hour line. I said, well, okay. Well, I gotta go over there because I gotta coordinate. Come with me. And we'll see if we can't get it taken care of. So I go over, Melissa right there with me. And if I would have stopped, She'd have run me right up. So I get to the top of the plane, and there's the captain. Nice guy, just doing his job. I said, hey, Captain, I'm here to, to see uh, Mr. Affleck. And I said, she's with me. Well, she smiled at the captain, come walk right on by. She thought that was a big deal. So I explained it to Mr. Affleck. He said, great, took a picture with her, signed it to, to Melissa. A few months later, I'm back home. I'm actually in, in uh, Wichita, Kansas. Forgot all about Melissa. Phone rings. It's Melissa's mom. She said, you know, hey, I've been wanting to talk. You got to try to talk two or three times, miss you. Said, Melissa's back. And I said, well, that's great. She said, but I just want you to know, you know, when Mr. Affleck came, Melissa had been there two whole weeks. And I said, we were worried, sick about her. She's 19 years old, never really been away from home, and now she's over in a war zone. She said, but when Melissa told us what you did for her, how you took care of that need, we knew that everything else was okay. We knew that you and the United States Air Force scared. We knew if you were going to go that low to make sure that she had an autograph that she wanted from Ben Affleck, that she would be trained, she would be housed properly, she, she, her safety would be her mind. That was all because we cared. I had no idea that Karen was going to make that impact. Because you know what they say. No one cares what you know till they know how much you care. 